Hello students, my name is Kumari Neha. I am working at Bharti Dasanar Matriculation Higher Secondary School, Arkonam. And the topic for today, which I am going to take, is from class 8, Chemistry. And the lesson name is Matter. So, let's go to the chapter. Right students? So, what is the matter? So, all the materials which are surrounding us, that can be a book which we read, the chair the student is sitting upon and even the breath which we take right so what is the matter kids dishant you say me what is matter so matter is a particular kind of material which is occupying a space right so now let's go to the definition of matter so students what is the definition of matter so here you can see that anything which occupies space space or you can call it as volume and has a mass which can be perceived by our physical senses is called matter so i told you right so a thing for example i'm taking this pen this pen is having some kind of mass right so this mass is called as volume also so this is occupying this particular shape in my hand so i can call it as this is a kind of matter now this matter i can feel it right i can feel the shape of this so i can know this by seeing by feeling so even this is called a matter so what exactly the matter means is so i told you students the matter can be explained in few that is four different major parts so first we'll see the characteristics of matter so first is volume so what is the volume students the matter which occupies space this space occupied by the matter is called volume right so i told you i gave an example of this pen this pen is occupying some kind of space and it has some kind of volume that is why it is called as a matter right second is mass same way now i am taking this pen this pen if i leave it it will go down right because it is having some kind of the weight or you can call it as mass so here it represents the quantity of matter quantity means how much amount of matter is present right and the found can be from the mass is that physical balance so what is a physical balance here you can see in the diagram the two weights in that weight we can find what is the exact weight of my pen so that is where a mass of a substance can be found by the weight right now let's come to the third thing weight students there is only one small difference between weight and mass mass is the quantity weight is also the quantity plus it is having the gravitational pull gravitational pulls means suppose i have this pen and i drop it it will directly go down it will not float right so this means that this particular object is having a weight which can be measured by the spring balance this is a spring balance so in this spring balance here they are keeping a weight using this weight only they are telling what kind of mass or what is the weight of this particular object and third is perception of physical senses so students what is a physical sense physical sense means physically what we can feel first is sight sight is by seeing if you can see something that means it is a matter second by hearing right now i'm speaking to you right from the camera my sound is going to your ears so in the air my sound is traveling so even the air is a kind of matter third is by touch touch i already told you this pen i can feel it i can feel the shape of this pen so that is why i'm calling it as a matter and third fourth sorry fourth is taste for example your mother is making food now this food is sweet or spicy how you will know that when you are tasting it when you are tasting it only then you can say it is spicy or it is sweet right and the final perception is smell so smell of an object can be determined only when the gas travels in the air right 
So students, now we have learnt about a matter, right? What is a matter? So now we should know exactly how the matter is getting distributed in different types. Before going into the types of matter, we should know what is the characteristics of matter, right? So here now we are seeing a matter is of two types. One is a material and second is a substance. So first we will talk about the material. So material is one kind of matter or one kind of molecules present in a particular kind of thing. So what is a material students? It is one kind, right? Now this one kind of matter or material is divided into two parts. One is homogeneous, second is heterogeneous. The names are coming from the pattern is homo means same. What does homo means kids? Homo means same. And generous means it's a type. Same way heterogeneous is hetero is different. What is hetero kids? Hetero is different. Right. Now I told you in this there will be same kind of atoms and in heterogeneous there will be different kind of atom. So here I have taken the example of a milk. Now in this milk what they have added is they have taken the milk plus they have added water into this. In your home whenever the mummy is buying some kind of milk from outside or you can call it as from people who are selling milk they can find how the milk is. Sometimes it will be too watery, sometimes it will be little thick, right? So why it is watery? Because maybe the person who is selling the milk, that is a milkman is adding a kind of a little bit of water into that so that his quantity of milk increases. So that time you will not find any visible difference, but there can be texture difference. So we can call it as water mixed with milk is a homogeneous mixture because we cannot separate the milk and water right so what is this this is milk plus water right now now let's come to the heterogeneous mixture so hetero i already told you it means different different means the composition the materials present will be entirely different so that they don't mix together now here i have taken the example of oil plus water so students in your home just check or do this experiment take little kind of little amount of oil you pour it that in a water bottle or a glass of water what you will see that there will be one layer of oil present above why because the composition of oil and the composition of water is entirely different that is why they will not mix together so here the above layer is oil o i l oil and down is water right so this cannot be mixed that is why it's called a heterogeneous mixture right now let's come to the substances so the definition of substance means only one kind of atom or molecule will be present for example i am taking pure gold in the gold you will see only gold particles present in that there will be no different kinds of metal or mixture or impurities same way now here there is NaCl. Students, one is, what is NaCl? I hope you know that, you did not forget that. NaCl is common salt. Common salt which your mothers are preparing food with. Right? So NaCl is only having Na and Cl. Even if there is some other kind of matter or element present into that, this property of salt will entirely change. Right? Yes, very good. Now let's come to the next topic. So next topic here you can see that what is the molecular kinetic theory of a matter. So first molecular theory of matter is all matter is composed of small particles that are molecules. It can be atoms or even ions. So here first you can see that in an element the atoms will be there that is only one kind of material same way in a molecule they will be same kind but they will go in pairs they will not be individual they will be in pairs right here we can take the example of hydrogen here we can take a example of h2 because h2 is a 
molecule molecule of what kids it is hydrogen same way now let's come to the compound so previously we were talking about something right nacl students what is nacl they are two different types so whenever you are adding two different types that is na cl these are two different atoms now this two different atoms are joined together to form one particular thing that thing is called as compound what it's called compound right now last one is mixture of compounds for example i'm taking salt i'm taking sand these are two different things right now when i mix it together what it will form it will form a mixture right now let's come to the particles second topic that is the particles are in the state of unending motion what is unending they will keep on moving what will happen they will not stop for example when you are at home you will go from the kitchen to the room to room to the main room then you will roam around everywhere right you are the example of the atoms present in a matter so here you can see that the movement of particle is having a kind of energy so that energy is called as kinetic energy what it's called kinetic energy kinetic does not mean only stopped or at a particular place it means moving energy what does it means moving right so now after this now we are going to see the third property of that so the third property is with the supply of heat energy the ke here ke refers to the kinetic energy kinetic energy is what moving energy of the atoms present in the matter so when the kinetic energy increases that time they start moving more vigorously what is vigorously vigorously means very fast right now here you can see that solids liquids and gases so in this lesson we will talk about solid liquid and gases depending upon the kinetic theories so here the kinetic theory or kinetic energy is highest in solids medium in liquids and very high will be their kinetic energy in gases right now come to the fourth point the fourth point is the particles attract each other with a force so what is a force right now i'm holding my hand now just imagine if you want to remove this two hands you have to apply some kind of force so that force is the force which we are talking about between the two different molecules so you can see in this diagram this is blue particle even this is blue particle so these are same kind of particles so this same kind of particle will have the force called as cohesive force what it's called kids cohesive force same way when here you can see that bluish and greenish now these are two different types right now this two types are having a strong bond now this strong bond will be called as adhesive force adhesive force will be the distance or the type of force between the different kinds of molecules and this both the forces together are called as inter molecular force okay kids now let's come to the final property the final property is the force of attraction between the particles decreases if the distance between the molecules increases now let's see the example here now in the solid you can see that the atoms are very close right so what is intermolecular when this two difference this distance is called intermolecular space what it's called intermolecular space now if the space is less the force will be very high why because just imagine my these two hands are close together they are very tight now if i want to remove them then i need more force right 
same way if I am holding only these two particles, these are little far right. Now the force which I want to apply, it will be little lower. So you can call it as whenever intermolecular space is high, that time intermolecular force will be very less and it is irreverse or you can call it as one once if it is increases the other side will always decrease right so students now let's see about the states of matter so states of matter you can also call it as different types of matter so here there are actually four different types of matter first is solid second is liquid third is gas and the last phase which is called plasma generally people don't talk about it but plasma is a kind of state which is having ionized gas what is plasma children plasma is ionized i o n i s e d ionized state okay now in this lesson generally we will talk only about solids liquids and gases in details so let's go into the chapter so first we'll talk about the solid sketch so the definition of solid is solid is a kind of state of matter which has definite shape and definite volume so here you can ask me what does this definite shape or definite volume means so students now see this diagram this is the arrangement of molecules in the solid so here distance between these two points or these two atom is called i told you before it's called intermolecular distance or you can call it as intermolecular force or intermolecular distance right so now if this distance is very slow or very small that time the spaces here also will be less but the force which we need to apply it will be very high same way now if i want to take a different kind of material in that material if you are seeing that how this particular things are happening we have to go in details so now first we'll talk about why it is called definite shape and definite volume here i already told you the distance is less if the distance is less the force will be very high right so that is why we are calling a solid is always having a definite shape and a definite volume solids are always rigid rigid means it is very stiff what is this stiff s t i f f right stiff means now this is a solid now if i try to compress it it is having the same shape i cannot change the shape right so that is why i will call a solid as a rigid body now let's come to the third point in third point we can say that a solid will have any number of free surfaces this is a solid now this solid i can touch from front from top from bottom all the sides right that is why it is having free surfaces where a person can touch and can feel that right now we will talk about intermolecular spaces i already told the distance between these two molecules is very less so that is why intermolecular spaces are very less same way if the distance is less the force will be very high same way i told you when the hands are joining all the five fingers it's difficult to remove them same way if only two fingers are there then it will be easy to break the bond right La and second last topic here is density of solids are generally high so you can call that why the density is always very high because whenever the density or a phase is having a particular shape it cannot be compressed if it cannot be compressed automatically density will be high and the last topic is diffusing a solid into solid cannot diffuse right students so here also you can see the examples of solid right i hope students you have understood what is a solid and the kinetic theory which we have discussed here 
so for the for next lesson we will talk about liquid gas and the interconversion of these molecules right now in the description box children you can go and you can check out the study material question bank and self assessment in the self assessment you will get to know how much you have understood i hope you are doing well at home study and be safe thank you